I love Hulk. Hulk is the most awesome thing ever. He is the strongest thing in the entire Marvel Universe fueled by boundless rage. Happy. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> That's all I ever wanted in life. I mean, my favorite part of the Avengers was obviously getting to gawk at Chris Evans for three hours because he's so pretty. <laughs> And they did that really nice slow pan and if in boxing, so he got the nice 3D shot of his ass, like 16 feet wide. That was that was pretty nice. Thanks for that, Joss Whedon. Still mad at you for the other thing, but you know. So now that now that we've talked about something awesome, shall we go into this week's not awesome? Sure. Okay, let's let's Oh boy. Here we go. Each week. Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here. A little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week we're actually not beginning with a story. Um. Okay. We are, well, th I, I'm sure a story for this one has developed, but you don't really need it. Let me give you the, the video link. Um. This is one of those random things that happened on YouTube, and I'm not really sure how to feel about it. So let me let me let you get, give you that so you can watch it, and I'll let everyone else watch as well. Because uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, here it is. Uh, this the title alone concerns me. This is one of those things that uh, parenting. Uh, it's it's yeah um. Well, I mean, there's glass there. It's not like they put the baby in the enclosure. I feel sorry for the lion. I'm like, I want him to... I kind of want him to get the baby. Have you seen the T-Rex one? N no. These parents who took their kid to the animatronic dinosaur park but didn't tell their kid dinosaurs aren't real. Oh. So it's like this three-year-old kid, and when he sees the T-Rex, he just fucking takes off the other way down the path. And he's like halfway to the car before his parents even yeah. go, hey, come back. Check this kid out. He's all cool with it. He's like, hey, kitty, what's up? And the cat's like, what? Poor kitty. Oh, my goodness gracious. I mean, if you are, okay. Even if the kid, the cat thinks not going to eat your kid, for fuck's sake. Stop teasing the cat. He's all poor kitty. Look well, at her. first of all, that's a lioness, so it's a she. Yeah, look, stop teasing. Look, poor kitty. So, you know, get her gender correct. Just don't, don't tease the kitty. Don't use your, don't use the baby as bait to tease the kitty. That's, that's not cool either. Poor kitty. Yeah. That's going to make for a bad day for some poor zookeeper. Yeah. Who wants to deal with grumpy lioness now. I'm getting to eat something with thumbs. I don't care what. I'm trying to find the T-Rex one because these were really like, and they just film their kid running away and pay no attention. Like your kid is gone now. I hope you're happy. Mm. Parenting fail. All right, let's get to the actual news. This one is from Florida. This one also kind of on some levels. It makes me happy because monkeys yes Largo police an inebriated driver had monkey on board a man Largo police accused of speeding down East Bay Drive while intoxicated Thursday morning had an unusual partner in crime a monkey riding shotgun Largo resident Eugene Kostelman 36 passed a police cruiser in his Ford truck driving at about 70 miles per hour after midnight he was arrested on felony DUI charges and being held in jail, also in the truck with Kotelman was, quote, a small monkey. What the fuck is that? There you go. Um, the truck was seized and the monkey placed in custody of one of Kotelman's friends. There's was a Russ from Friends? <laughs> you think, yeah. You're thinking Russ from Friends. I'm thinking Clint Eastwood. Any which way but loose. I didn't see that movie. You didn't see it. Oh. But I'm. This, 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 
I'm so there's a movie to be made here. I'm so happy. I think they've made that movie a couple times already. Yeah, they? I know. Like in the eighties. Why? In the eighties, every movie was either a buddy cop movie or a buddy cop movie with some type of animal. This like was Sylvester Stallone and a zebra fighting crime. Th- th- this wasn't getting drunk and going out. On, on a rampage, well, not really rampage, just driving drunk with a monkey. This was actively choosing to bring the monkey along on a bender. This was, you know what, I'm getting drunk tonight. Come on, monkey! Who does that? Maybe the monkey's his only friend. <laughs> Maybe the monkey is like... What do they have in common? Chronic Maybe that ass- monkey is his reincarnated brother. What do they have in common? Chronic masturbation and fleeces and feces flinging? I mean, really? What, what? Feces. Feces flinging. Say that three times fast. Just leave, what, leave the monkey at home. Leave the monkey out of your shenanigans. The monkey wants no part of this. Well, you don't know that. The monkey might be the one orchestrating the whole thing. <laughs> what, the monkey's like signing? No, have another shot. Have yeah. A- the monkey might be the instigator of the whole thing. You don't know. Instigator monkey. I mean, didn't you see Rise of the Planet of the Apes? That could be fucking Caesar he had in that car. Be like, no, contribute to your own downfall, human. Go ahead. Just make taking this planet that much easier. Okay. Fuck you. We really don't have segues tonight. I'm going to warn you because we're jumping all over the fucking place. Um, we've had many a story of the stop fucking in public. For Mm -hmm. many. It apparently has gotten so bad in China's uh, Hainan province um, that this sign, I'll give you the link, hold on. This sign has popped up on on the uh, the mass transit cars. Um, It's a sign that essentially is no fucky fucky. At least, uh, the, uh, the, this is in the gondola rides. It's happened so much, local authorities have been forced to erect a side, barring people from having sex while riding in the cable car carriages. Following numerous complaints that were apparently, uh, were apparently forced to step in and put an end to what has been a popular local pastime for young couples. Well, is it one of those, like, yeah, you have your own, like, car, right? Yes! So, of course, people are going to fuck in the cable car. <laughs> what else do you do in the cable car? Like, look at the sights? No. I read my damn Kindle. I listen to music. Maybe watch a movie on my phone. I don't. Yo, well, it's going to be uh, 10 minutes till we get there. Uh, fucking? Fucking. Okay. Also, I want to note there is a flaw with this sign. Because if you wish to be pedantic about it... Um, Which you always do. All this sign seems to indicate is no cowgirl. I believe that sign is missionary. Is that missionary? Oh, is the the woman person on the, bottom? on the bottom has breasts and the person really? on the top does not. Those are boobs? Those are I boobs. would assume so, unless there's are some at kind stick, of strange tumors. We're looking at stick figure boobs. Wow. Um, okay, so that it's, th- this sign... Indicates one thing, no missionary. Apparently, cowgirl, cowgirl is cool. Doggy, cool. Missionary, no. So, mixed messages. I would messages. get more worried about rocking the car around yeah, so much. Like, it is and that's partially because I'm really afraid of heights. So, I would be very concerned about creating too much rocking motion in something that high off the ground that I would be plummeting to my death and that would probably ruin it for me and that, that would really take me out of the moment that would be a hell of a way to die because it you know those things are just held on they're kind of like a hook yeah if you could that's what I'm saying just like just enough like I, I I think it would really take me out of the moment to be worried about plummeting to my death the whole time like Oh, Mer- also, I you know, I very recently watched an episode of The X-Files where Mulder gets stuck climbing on the outside of a cable car while it's, like, swinging over the mountain. Mm-mm. Do not rock that boat. Yeah, Mer said, in the channel said, uh, death by snoo-snoo. Yeah, that's, that's sort of an inno- ignoble end, isn't it? 
St. Peter, how did you die? Oh, we fucked a cable car down. It crashed. Back of the line. Ba back of the line. Back of the fucking line. Just back of the line. Um, I don't think that would keep you out of heaven. Maybe not, but he's probably going to delay you a little bit. He's probably going to go over to the other angels and be like, Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. You're I mean, I think it's more likely that St. Peter would say, What's a cable car? Okay, let's see. Um, again, no segue. There, there really is no segue between any story tonight. It, it's, it's just so it's, it's random night. Um, I guess this is maybe a little Freudian. This is from Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Long Island oh, woman. I saw this today. Yeah, charged with prostitution yeah. after using. Uh, Hot dog cart to solicit clients. Um, and the, the, the other line here says, And what's more, Catherine Scalia was arrested for the same crime eight years ago. Yeah. Detectives in the Narcotic Vice Squad in Nassau County were investigating Catherine Scalia, 45, of East Rockaway, became aware she was offering up more than kraut and relish from her hot dog cart. Um, Scully was arrested Thursday after authorities said she offered to engage in sexual conduct at her home with an undercover detective in return for money. The officer, uh, undercover officer bought two hot dogs and noticed suggestive business cards offering services you don't usually get from a food vendor. <sighs> strips are us, specializing in bachelor and birthday parties, yep. one-on-one strips topless cleaning service i gotta show yeah let's let's show them the this is the business card here guys that i'll put it on the big screen so you can get a nice big look at it there's the business card complete with big long island hair yeah yeah she's oh okay first of all a hot dog cart maybe there was a little bit of a freudian thing going on here i don't know but not something i normally associate and ever oh great everybody's going I'm copying the number down. <laughs> really guys, do you really want to sleep with hot dog woman? They is might this, need some topless house cleaning. Th this is your ambition, really? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but not and the fact that this is like the second time she pulled this scam. Well, it's not really a scam. This racket, the question is, I guess. Do you eat the hot dog and then go back to her place? Yeah. Or does she make you the hot dog after she's had sex with you? Or do you, like, eat it during? Like, there's a food stuff involved here. When, maybe, maybe when you, do you work in the hot dog? Maybe you have to charge extra to eat the hot dog during. Maybe it's... it's I... Uh, uh. Is it like that scene from Jawbreaker where you use the hot dog to show her what you want her to do because you know that's pretty kinky for a trailer on long island i i love you really you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're i i'm going to be kind i love you no just it why did she do it again though was it just like well i've got all these business cards shame to let them go to waste well no i think i saw I saw a different article on this, and she basically said, like, the hot dog business wasn't working out. I had to do something. Like, I wasn't making enough money on hot dogs. So. Well, oh, God, I've got to say it. I wasn't making enough money on hot dogs, so I'm going to make money on sausage. It's kind of like that. Um, it was right there. I'm sorry. That Jennifer Love Hewitt Lifetime movie, you know, <laughs> where she gets into the massage business and winds up giving happy endings because recession. Uh, it's bad economy out there. You do what you got to do. Uh, again, this next one, um, this is going to make you angry. I'm pretty awesome. sure. I kind of laughed. You're going to be angry. Um, but I think it's pretty much generally a kids these days. You use a Mac. You like Mac. You like Apple. I do not. This kid really don't like Apple. Boy urinates on school computers causes $36,000 in damages. 
Holy shit! 11-year-old boy urinated on several MacBook computers on a cart in the Upper Allen Elementary School Wednesday, uh, damaging them beyond repair. The loss comes to more than $36,000. Now, I've read other articles on this same story. Here's the problem. Apple usually has Apple Care. It's really good. They'll cover anything. Except when Apple heard about this, they said, um, that's a biohazard. Bye-bye. Well, yeah. I I don't really blame them for that. But the thing is, like, MacBooks are what? Like, two grand, I think? That was a lot of MacBooks. It was a stack of them. How many fucking computers? All of them. Like, how much did he have to drink that day? (laughs) Because I don't know a lot of people who could pee enough to do $36,000 worth of damage to $2,000 computers. That's like a superpower. That's, that's a lot of peeing. That, that's, that, that's not just a superpower. That's like a legion of superheroes superpower. Like that kid has a bladder the size of my head, apparently. You've got Matter Eater Lad. You've got Bouncing Boy. You have Piss Kid. I mean, Jesus Christ. A kid has a bladder this big. <laughs> what this hat? I am inclined to say this was a deliberate choice on it. This was no accident. An accident. There's normally pants involved. This was no accident. This was not. I can't make the bathroom in time. Well, this no, an was... accident. You also probably don't destroy thirty six thousand dollars. <laughs> like. That was my starting salary as a graphic designer at my last job. It's a lot of fucking money. I, I feel like if you had an accident, eventually you would steer away from the... Com- like, no, this was this was a thing. And I... But I have trouble believing it was like some kind of fuck you Steve Jobs thing. Like no. It was probably more like a fuck you school thing. Can you imagine the Apple Care guy on the other end of the phone just like, oh no, 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 no. No. What happened to those machines? Yeah, I don't... I think that's probably, you know, user that's error. You. That's on you guys. No, I don't... Oh, restarting it didn't fix that, huh? <laughs> Did you try to restart it? Oh, Because that's so basically... Weird. That's troubleshooting a Mac. Yeah. Restart it. If that doesn't work, buy a new Mac. <laughs> like, maybe run like Norton. Oh, can you imagine them telling them to go through the troubleshooting steps? Just drippings with goo. Yeah, that... Uh, Ugh. Well, I don't know about goo. It's you might be lie. all dehydrated if you're peeing goo. It's a lie. Go with my line. It's a, it's a movie line. Hey, if you can be pedantic, so can I. Yes. If yes. you're peeing goo, you might want to see a doctor. That's yes, all I'm saying. Yes. Okay. Again, y- yet in keeping with the we don't have a theme tonight, there are no segues. We, we are beyond segues. The theme is we don't have a theme. I don't know a good way to ease into this one, and that's probably not a good phrase for this. Um, we've had we, this another theme that recurs on our show is misuse of nine one one. We've mm. had people try to order things via nine one one. We've had abuse of nine one one. Oh, I think I know where this is going. Did, did you catch this story? Yeah, this this is. Not what 911 is for. Um, elderly Oklahoma City man accused of talking dirty to 911 operators. <sighs> Oklahoma City police arrested an elderly man for allegedly calling 911 operators to talk about sex. According to the police report, Clyde Dorian Hobbs, 72, called 911 at least 17 times. The report reveals Hobb made sexually oriented comments to the emergency operators each time he called. Contrary to what society seems to want you to believe, your erection is in fact not an emergency. (laughs) It is not an emergency that you be able to get one. It is not an emergency that somebody help you dispatch one. Well, okay. No part of your erection is an emergency unless you've had one for like a year and a half, in which case, fine, go to the ER and get that shit drained. But after just four your hours, normal, your normal average everyday erection, not an emergency for anybody. Oh, and the picture of this guy. Oh, my word. I, he's getting the big screen because, oh, my, look at this, this charming fellow here. 
Mm. Why ever was he bothering the 911 operators? Certainly the women were lining up yeah. to speak with Mr. Clyde, Dory, and Hobbs. Police say this isn't the first time they've arrested Hobbs for calling 911. Reports show he's been arrested previous three previous times. Port State's officers arrived to his home. He was, quote, very belligerent and rude. I th- wow, a guy that calls 911 for phone sex doesn't have good manners. Yeah, I think there's a, there's an element of understatement going on in this story. Oh, Jesus. Your, your erection is no one's emergency. Just watch some internet porn like everybody else. If you can't access that, there's always like the underwear section of the Sears catalog. Victoria's Secret sends out 16 catalogs a month if you buy one thing from them ever. Oh, do what you gotta do. I, I could probably, I just, I feel sorry for those 911 operators. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't think, because they're not allowed to hang up on you. No. In like, case something's really wrong. Like, they can't just be like, yeah, fuck you and hang up. Because nine, then if you die. 911, what is your emergency? I'm hung like a horse. Um, that's not really an emergency, sir. How can we help you? What are you wearing? Um, and I can't hang up. Oh, fuck. It's sort of like just being locked. And I think at that point, you just kind of have to troll them back. (laughs) Well, I'm wearing a big bird costume and Wellington (laughs) boots. I want to see... I want to hear the tapes of this, because... Some of them, after 17 calls, somebody was a trolling. Um, like my mom, whenever telemarketers call her, she starts trying to sell them shit. Ah, this, okay, ladies, you are all going to be pissed at this last one. I'm a little irked, but you're really going to be irked. Um, there's a time of the month that's uncomfortable for you all, and I'm sorry you have to deal with it. But... When you're attempting to make arrangements to deal with it, this is not the kind of bullshit you want to contend with. This is from Utah. Um, I'll get you the link and let everybody at home go ahead and digest this because, yeah, um, this is this is not the kind of bullshit you want to deal with. Woman buys tampons stuffed with cocaine at a local store. Salt Lake City. Police are investigating a case of a woman who found cocaine in a sealed box of tampons. Cindy Davison never suspected the tampon she found for a good deal Saturday at the NPS store were anything out of the ordinary. The box was in perfect condition, sealed in cellophane. But she became suspicious Sunday when she opened the first box. I noticed there was packaging inside that wasn't normal. They had removed the tampon and there was cocaine inside. First, she wasn't sure what she was seeing. There's a powdery substance rolled in a thick cellophane and taped shut inside the cardboard applicator. It was wrapped so tight, she spent five minutes trying to open it, and she still couldn't. (laughs) This is not the... Okay. So, I don't know. I think that might actually be awesome. You want want a box of cocaine when you're having to deal with with that. You, you, you know, some women get really, really intolerable cramp issues, and like no amount of Advil will help with that. As a thought in the channel says, directly know, injected cocaine might not be the worst thing. As a thought in the channel says, you know, Nash, there's a drug lord somewhere who is stuffing an underling full of tampons right now. <laughs> Just saying, directly applied cocaine might be helpful, but I'm. I'm I'm confused by the next paragraph. Uh-huh. I started getting nervous because I thought it might have been a terrorist attack. White powder in the tampon thing. To be fair, th- you don't know. I'm thinking Al Qaeda. <laughs> While admittedly, you know, their their really extremist population kind of around dicks, there are yeah. not exactly hardcore feminists. <laughs> I'm thinking they're not going to take down the West <laughs> with lace tampons. Like, that's not really their wheelhouse. You know? like, I 
I'm just seeing the blackboard for this plot and then planning it. Like, I don't think they're going to go from <laughs> taking down the World Trade Center to anthrax, anthrax Vagina Attack, which is a great punk band name, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm seeing them with a table with all different brands laid out, trying to figure out which one's the best to stuff anthrax in. I mean, Rick Santorum, maybe. <laughs> You know, maybe that's maybe that's the Republican birth control plan. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, I don't I don't know that terrorist attack would be the first place I would go there. But this. OK, if you want to deal with it, you're not happy is as I understand it. I, I wish I could empathize. I can't for obvious reasons, but I understand you're not happy at this point in the month when this happens. Do you really want to be dealing with this shit? You have cocaine. You have this white shit going on. You have to call the police. You have to call the fire department. I don't think I want to be dealing with that at any point right. in time. This is, like, this is kind of worse. I don't think I want to buy a box of fucking Honey Nut Cheerios and have packets of cocaine in it. Yes, but here at this point, you have a box of... You bought what you thought was a box of tampons. Now, not only do you not have tampons, you have all this bullshit on top of it. Yeah, that's annoying. That is annoying. That is, this is the most asshole drug dealer ever. Well, and my question, how did it get, like, just mixed in with merchandise at a fucking store? I know. Like, that's a really incompetent drug dealer. Did they think, no one's going to buy tampons, I'll just hide like, it here and they can come pick it up? How did it even, and it was a sealed package, yes. so, like, how did it get in there and then get just thrown out on the shelf in the store? Like, there's a fucking dealer somewhere who's pissed. Yes. Yeah. that's a couple thousand dollars worth of product that wound up on the shelf at the fucking Target. How does that happen? I'm just imagining Marlo Stanfield with a box of tampons going, What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? I'm confused as how that even happens. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's just beautiful. That's, uh... <laughs> what? Well, I don't know how... To, uh... What the fuck? I'm telling you, it's actually, it was actually like... It was actually like a field test on a product that like OB doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> like a novel the way cramp, the cramp on. Oh, a novel way to deal with symptoms. Exactly. And they just it didn't work out. So they're like, oh, well, that's terrible that somebody tampered with our product like that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess the the first First thing we learned is um, uh, this is not this is not a person you want to fuck with in the course of your drug dealing. You know, drug dealers are scary. Women, when they are angry, are scarier. I'm just saying. No comment. You be scary, man. Well, my ge my general dealing for when I have a girlfriend on a period, uh, you give them. My doll and chocolate and get the fuck out of the room until they call for you. Have the cell phone ready and just wait until they need your ass. Otherwise, stay the fuck out the way. So you haven't learned the stop talking part yet, huh? That's what the cell phone's for. I'm in another room. Mm. They call me when they need you. Otherwise, I stay the fuck away. There is pretty much no commentary men can make on the women's menstrual no. issue. And not be wrong. I just know just I'm I'm either helpful or I'm out of the way. I just know because nothing I can do about it. You have a better plan? I'm just gonna let you keep talking. Um we also learned nine one one. Your erection is not an emergency. No, that's no, it is not. That's kind of simple. Your erection, like no one's I, emergency. I, you know, I know that there are dudes out there. Not all of you, but I know that there are dudes out there to whom your penis is the center of the universe. But it is only the center of your universe, not anybody else's. Most people. Really don't care about your penis. Also, sometimes it really sucks to be a nine one one operator. Yeah, 
because you're just stuck there. We learned that an 11-year-old boy can contain a fuckload of urine. And do thousands of dollars of damage with it. And, you know, if you pee on your MacBook, Apple's not going to take care of it for you. Children are goddamn evil. Yes. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we, I don't know if we learned anything about the hot dog thing or we, we learned that there are some really, we, we, you need to be upfront about how you offer your services. If the hot dog vendor asks you if you want the special white sauce, you need to be aware what that means and that you will be providing said sauce yourself. So don't let her charge you extra for it. That's just shitty. <laughs> Yo. Um, don't fuck in a gondola. Not because, you know, you're... you're being... It's not safe. Yeah, it's not a matter of being polite. Although, ooh, God. I'm safe. I would not want to walk in there after someone's walked a smell. Just, no. You know what? I'll just climb the fucking mountain. Thanks anyway. I'm safe. And again, everything. And then you're going to wind up like those people that were on ER one time where they were having sex when the building fell down and like a piece of rebar went through them both and they couldn't like detach. And oh. they had to be removed from each other. You're going to wind up those people in the fiery wreck of the gondola at the bottom of the mountain unable to This was on TV? It was on ER, yeah. Grey's Anatomy might have done it too. I know ER did it a while ago, because I have never watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy, but I saw it on ER. Jesus Christ! They brought them in on the stretcher, like the chick on top with the bar through the both of them. And they were not happy people. Everything's just making me sad tonight. But we did learn, I think the, the most important lesson we learned is everything's better with monkeys. Drunk driving on its own, sad. At a monkey, awesome. Drunk driving's never awesome. No, okay, yeah, you're right. It's not. But Monkey or no. But monkey, you know... Yeah, you've got the drunk driving, but at least when they're writing you the ticket and you're blow at least when you're blowing the breathalyzer, the monkey can entertain the police officers. I suppose that's a silver lining. What up, dude? Or, you know, plan their global takeover. While you're keeping everybody occupied. Stupid human occupying the authorities while they're planning their uprising. Watch the monkeys. We can't trust nature. Nature wants us dead because we suck. Because we took over the top of the food chain and decided to be total dicks about it. So now everything else in nature is like, fuck humanity. Your time is coming. You know, I wonder if half the, trust the nature. I, I tend to wonder if some of the stories on our show become like animal uprising propaganda. Dude, the motherfucker took Harv and Larry and Jim and taped them to his crotch. Exactly. Fuck humans. And that's why eventually, like, the fucking hummingbird apocalypse is going to come out of nowhere. We're never going to see it coming. We're all just going to get pecked to death in some bizarre Dr. Seuss meets Alfred Hitchcock nightmare. 